Well hello again. In this video, I want to show off the final gear for my explosive arrow build. I was able to get all the gear that I wanted. So let's not waste any more time. I got a 6 link quill rainbow as well as a bow with plus 3 to fire gems. The later was made with the help of a single lucky essence of rage. This bow gives an insane amount of damage. However the downside is also considerable. This bow is much slower than Quill Rain. Avoiding damage from enemies is much harder. I won't show the links I'm using because that was already covered in the build guides thread. Besides, the gym setup may really change in some extreme situations. Next off let's check the quivers. I started the leak by using Rear Guard. This quiver is great for explosive arrow. Of course getting an additional arrow with the corruption is quite important in the end game. The other nice corruption I got was fire damage leached as life. Later on I discovered that if I drop the rear guard for a rare quiver I can get more life and resists and therefore get a second opal ring. This way I get even more damage. So let's talk rings. As I already mentioned that opal rings are the best in slot. In essence we also got to use the essence of anger that guarantees a substantial increase in fire damage. This is definitely the way to go. We don't have to focus very much with the resistances since we can get those on other gear, but life is still important. For the amulet I chose the Arakatiki's faded version and Gamma Tiki. There's not much to say here. The amulet is not expensive so I corrupted a few. I got some nice results too. The best result you can get is the additional curse one like mine. But there's a few other good ones like plus one to maximum frenzy charges and fire damage leech as life. To be honest just about anything will be better than the normal implicit. Let's finish off the accessories with the belt. The fire variant of Dorian's imitation is great as it provides double dipping damage and mainly a lot of resist. We do lose some life though. A rare belt is also great. Especially for a Pathfinder and Hardcore characters. My friend says it's like a boot but you put it on the head. Devoto's Devotion works great. It adds attack speed, movement speed and a lot of armor and evasion along with a healthy dose of dexterity which is in demand and quite scarce on the tree. Of course chaos resistance doesn't hurt at all. I also had a lucky enchant on this one. You can also use a rare helmet if the finances doesn't allow for Devoto. A rare helm can be good because it can have life, resists and accuracy. Especially worth considering for hardcore. The armor of choice is Kaom's heart. No surprise here. For gloves I opted with some simple rare gloves with life, resists, accuracy rating and attack speed. If you feel like you have enough damage, like me, rares can actually be the best choice. On boots we look for life, resists, movement speed, maybe some dexterity. That's about it. Now let's see some more action. This is the key to a crucible that stretches the sanity of the mind. That's all folks. Hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me anything in the comments below or on any of my other channels. Stay safe.